Hi everyone, today we will discuss the endoplasmic reticulum. So the topic for today's lecture is the endoplasmic reticulum. We will discuss what is endoplasmic reticulum, what are different parts, we will also discuss its major types. So endoplasmic reticulum is basically the network of membranes. It is a complex and very very dynamic structure. It is present inside the cell and it covers most of the cytoplasm. So the second point is it is going to cover most of the cytoplasm of the cell. That means its, it's, it's network is huge. Third point is it is evolved from the membrane in foldings. So when the outer membrane got enfolded, it formed these different kinds of structure. That is the hypothesis. So if I want to draw the structure of this particular organelle, so I will start from the center, which is the nucleus, and then I'm, I'm making all those enfoldings, as you can see, and making the flat sac-like structure. This is the typical structure of the end, rough endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is a little bit slightly different than the rough endoplasmic reticulum. In the endoplasmic reticulum, when you'll see the structure, you'll find something like that. If you see the structure looks like this, so that means this, this is the schematic of the endoplasmic reticulum. Although the flat sac, they are the representation of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Anyways, let's talk about the parts. So there are two important parts. One is lumen, which is the space inside the endoplasmic reticulum. Second is the endoplasmic reticulum membrane. So it is a membrane bound organelle. So you have a space, empty space, which is filled up with the uh, the solution like like the, like the cytoplasm but it is quite different than the cytoplasm if i draw the structure again you can see this is the lumen which is the space inside the endoplasmic reticulum and then the pink color lining is the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum and as i mentioned as important note the composition of the lumen so let me write it down composition of the lumen content is different than the cytosolic. Why? Because there are different kinds of processes that are running inside the endoplasmic reticulum. There are a lot of protein synthesis is happening inside the endoplasmic reticulum. So the composition is obviously going to change. Next point is endoplasmic reticulum, as I've mentioned you, is a highly dynamic organelle and undergoes turnovers and a lot of reorganization. It's a, it's a dynamic organelle and it is going to change over the period of time depending upon the metabolic stage stage of the cell so this is very very important point here now let's discuss about the basic types i've already mentioned you there are two different types of endoplasmic reticulum one is smooth endoplasmic reticulum and second one is the rough endoplasmic reticulum so these are represented as rer or ser as I've already mentioned you, the drawing that I made is the representation of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, but the major difference is the presence of the ribosomes. These red dots, they are the ribosomes. They are present only in rough endoplasmic reticulum. And then these flat-like sac structures, in, especially in case of RERR, they are known as cisternae. They are, they, these are specifically very flat sacs. In case of your smooth endoplasmic reticulum, the structure is quite different than the rough endoplasmic reticulum. It's more tubular, it's more curved. So as you can see, it looks like this. So I think you should also watch the structure, actual structure of these organelles. So there will be no ribosomes, so that is why it looks smooth. And then it will be tubular in structure and they are also curved in nature. So this is the basic, you know, information about the endoplasmic reticulum where we have discussed that it is the network of membrane it covers most of most of the cytoplasm it is possibly it is evolved from the membrane in foldings it has lumen it has endoplasmic reticulum membrane and the the composition of the lumen content is significantly different than the cytosolic next Two basic types, one rough endoplasmic reticulum, second one is smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum 
Why? Because it has ribosomes. So RER doesn't mean ribosomal endoplasmic reticulum. It means rough endoplasmic reticulum. Make sure you understand that. Next, you have smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Since the appearance is more smooth because no ribosomes are there, that's why it's known as smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Very, very simple. They have different functions that we'll cover in my next video. If you like the video, then please hit the like button and support the channel. Thank you.